Hi everybody, um, it's Rhonda here and welcome back to my little kitchen and happy Mother's Day to everybody and I thought today I would make um, strawberry pie and um, the great thing about this recipe is what could be better than one pie but two pies. So this recipe is wonderful because it makes two pies and we've got a Pillsbury crust here and I've got my oven preheated to um, to 400 degrees and I'm gonna put that in there first so that can get baked off and of course you can make your own pie but I just um, I think that the Pillsbury pie crust are wonderful so I'm also gonna make a gluten-free pie crust and I cr um, crushed up some of these in my little um, blender so there they are, they're wonderful. And I've made this before and, and my daughter and I really liked it if you're gluten free. And so I've got about a cup of um, crushed up cookies and I'm just gonna add two tablespoons of butter in that. And we're just gonna get that mixed in real good. So that'll kind of stick together and it really it doesn't need any more sugar or anything like that. It's really good on its own. And we're going to put that in there. My other pie crust needs to bake off for about 10 minutes and this one will probably only need about 5 minutes just to kind of get it set up in there. And we're just going to press that all down in there good. Can use your hand or this or even the back of a measuring cup which works really well too. Okay we're gonna stick that in the oven here for five minutes and then we'll get our filling ready and this is um, this recipe is called a Shoney's um, strawberry pie or big boy strawberry pie but Shoney's is on my recipe so you need the recipe calls for wild strawberry, but I haven't been able to find wild strawberry in a long time. So we're just going to use the strawberry jello, which I've got in my pan already here. And then it calls for um, one and three fourths cup of sugar. And we're going to get that in. And we're going to go ahead and just turn our stove on. And then it calls for two cups of cold water. We're going to get that in. Just get that all mixed up. It already smells nice and strawberry-ish. And I'm just going to zoom in so you can see that a little bit. And then you just have to stir, stir, stir. And this is where I say the love comes in because it's going to go from this cloudy color to really a clear color where you can even see the bottom of your pan. And I think this will take a good 10 or 15 minutes. So I'll just on pause there and I'll come back and show it to you when we get that part done. Okay, so also I did not mention but four tablespoons of cornstarch. Cornstarch went into the pot here and you just stir, stir, stir until you can kind of tell that it's thickening up and it gets clear, much clearer looking. And I can definitely tell that it's getting thicker because it's starting to kind of stick to the sides of my pan a little bit. And then I've already kind of lined my pie shells with strawberries. I'm just going to do that a little more here. All right, so I'm just going to stir, stir, stir. And then these are going to have to go once we pour the filling in, into the refrigerator for an hour or so to set up and get nice and cold. So I'll just go ahead. Put a couple more strawberries in there. down a little bit and then you just pour it in 
makes two pies, which is wonderful. One to keep and one to give away. Well, I'm back with the pies. They have been in the refrigerator for about an hour and a half, and it looks like they're pretty well set up. I still think they probably need a little more time in the refrigerator, but I'm gonna go ahead and top them with the Cool Whip, and we're gonna get this pie over to my mother-in-law so she can um, have it for Mother's Day. I'm gonna put mine back in the refrigerator when we get back from her house, I will cut it for you and try it. But this pie is just so refreshing, and I think you'll enjoy it. It's nice, of course. Like I said, it makes two pies, which is wonderful. Okay. And then I'm just going to decorate it with a little strawberry on top so she knows it's a strawberry pie. Just kind of make a little decoration here. Just took two strawberries and cut them in half. There we go. It's very pretty. And she will enjoy that with the rest of the family for Mother's Day. And this is the gluten-free crust. And actually, I think because this is this was hotter longer because of the, the pie plate there. But we'll go ahead and put the whipped cream on it too, and then we'll cut it, like I said, when we get back. straggles of strawberry left. Might as well go ahead and put them on there. Not near as pretty as my mother-in-law's, but that's okay. We want hers to be prettier anyway. All right, we're back here and we're gonna give the strawberry pie a taste test here. Cut a little piece. Always that first piece of pie. Always doesn't come out very well, it seems like. Let's see. Okay. Didn't do too bad. You can see the whipped cream. There's the strawberry. All right, so we're gonna just give it a try here. Mmm. That's very good. Well, thank you for stopping by and I hope you all have had a wonderful Mother's Day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.